Is there really still a need for the monarchy in the modern age? In a world where the relevance of the British monarchy is increasingly questioned, the recent news of King Charles III's cancer diagnosis has sparked a fresh wave of speculation. As we delve into this topic, we'll explore the king's health, the implications for his reign, and the current line of succession. King Charles, who ascended to the throne just 18 months ago, has been diagnosed with an unspecified form of cancer. The diagnosis was made during his recent treatment for an enlarged prostate. However, the palace has confirmed that the cancer is not located in the prostate. The exact type of cancer, the treatment he is receiving, and his prognosis remain undisclosed. Despite this, the king has begun a schedule of regular treatments and remains positive about his treatment, looking forward to returning to full public duty. The king's decision to publicly announce his diagnosis has been lauded as a move towards openness, a departure from the tradition of royal health secrecy. This openness is seen as a reflection of societal progress, where sharing personal health struggles can be beneficial not just for the individual, but for society as a whole. Despite his diagnosis, King Charles plans to continue fulfilling his state duties, such as reviewing government papers and meeting with the Prime Minister. However, he will step back from public appearances. Royal experts suggest that the diagnosis is unlikely to destabilize the House of Windsor, and the motto remains, business as usual. As for the line of succession, Prince William, the older son of Charles and the late Princess Diana, is next in line for the throne. Following him are his children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Prince Harry, the younger son of Charles and Diana, retains his place in line despite relinquishing his royal duties. His children, Archie and Lilibet Mountbatten-Windsor, are also in the line of succession. In conclusion, while King Charles's cancer diagnosis has undoubtedly sent shockwaves through the nation, it has also highlighted the resilience of the monarchy. The king's commitment to his duties and his openness about his health struggles reflect a modern approach to monarchy, perhaps suggesting that there is indeed a place for this historic institution in today's world. As we continue to follow this story, our thoughts are with King Charles and his family during this challenging time. That is all for now. We will continue to follow this story closely and bring you the latest developments as they unfold. As always, stay curious and stay connected. We are Virtual Vanguard News.